to do this one a few years back, but Robin Williams' suicide was still kind of fresh, and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I just couldn't. It's easy to remember him as the incredibly funny, spontaneous comedian. The physical comedy, the voices, that rapid-fire delivery, the hairy arms. He was a part of a lot of our childhoods. But that was just one facet of this gem. He was also a gifted, dramatic actor. Here's one example. This is One Hour Photo. We open with a mugshot, so that's never a good sign. Robin Williams is Cy Parrish. No relation. It starts with his arrest, so we're probably headed for flashbacks. In which case... Family photos depict smiling faces. People take pictures of the happy moments in their lives. Now we photograph everything. <coughs> and I do mean everything. I'm bleeding out my fucking balls, dude! Meet the Yorkin family. Will, Nina, Jacob, played by Michael Barton, Connie Nielsen, and Dylan Smith. The perfect American family. Or is it? Not a real store. Look at all that parking. Look how clean it is. You can eat off that floor, if you're into that. Cy works in the photo department, and this is his favorite family. This is where the family takes their pictures for developing. It was a different time then. There was no camera phones, no digital photos, no cloud. He has a reverence and a pride over his work. Pictures are, after all, very important to recording our lives. They tell a story, and to the wrong person, tell any story you want them to. Enjoy your pack of lies! It's Jake's birthday, so he gives him a free disposable camera. Anything to be cool Uncle Cy. He doesn't know this family, he just develops their pictures. Gary Cole plays his boss, Bill. No relation. He doesn't like Cy. How can anyone hate this man? Maybe because Cy's been making extra copies of the Yorkin photos since, like, forever. That's a lot of photos! I don't have that many pictures of myself. The Yorkins argue over money and how Will is always working. What, what do you think, there's a, a money fairy that comes and slips an envelope under my pillow every month? If, if you continually want our life to look like something out of a magazine, I'm sorry, I've gotta work. Money, the exhaust port of any marriage. Cy inserts himself into their lives one way or another. He even breaks into their house, and it's a little creepy? Wow, make yourself at home. I hope you brought your own toilet paper. Crap, 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 crap. Hey, Cy. I thought you said you were going out today. Can you help me put this together? Oh shit, it was, ugh. Oh, it was just in his head. I was afraid things were gonna get bludgeony. He stalks, I mean, <clears throat> bumps into Jake at soccer practice and gives him a new toy he had been eyeing. Yeah, and um, get into his van while you're at it. He's got candy and a puppy. I'm scared. You're scared? I gotta walk back alone. Look who rolled out of bed and went straight to the mall. Yeah, we read the same book, so not creepy at all. I think we even use the same tampon. Maya Burson, played by Aaron Daniels, is another customer who drops off a roll of film. Just noting her for later. I am Save Mart's Reckoning! Sai Parrish, please see the manager. Sai to the manager's office immediately, please. There have been some discrepancies in the number of prints. They're finally noticing after like nine years Sai's been making extra copies? I'm letting you go. Sai gets fired for theft, and for some reason is allowed to finish out the week. He must have a hell of a union. Fight the power, Sai. What are they gonna do? Fire you again? Probably his last order for the Yorkins. Great. Kid thinks he's an artist. Sai starts connecting dots. Maya works with Will. He works late all the time. Whoa, looks like the candle isn't the only thing he's burning at both ends. And the bubble bursts. Sai's ideal family was nothing of the sort. I can't believe I fake broke into their house. Last day on the job, he gets creative with the Yorkin photos, nabs a consolation prize, since he apparently still has the keys. What are they gonna do, fire him? Isn't it kind of funny that stores kinda look like this in real life these days? He should come back as an old woman just to fuck with Bill. After these messages, uh, we'll be right back. Sai sits back and watches the fun. Hey mom, is that dad's penis? I've seen things. Let's go Jake, your father might be going away for a bit. Still. No fireworks. 
I know, she's saving it. I bet that wine tastes a little funny. Somebody's gonna wake up without Mr. Happy. My wall of lies. At least the Osbournes are still a nice normal family. Sai searches for toilet paper. He finds none and he's about to cry. Ah! Whoa, no more crack before bed. Sai gets uh, even creepier. He takes frightening pictures of Bill's kid, which, but that only frightens him with the world's shittiest flipbook. He still has an awesome zoom on that camera. He must be in so much trouble to bring S.H.I.E.L.D. in on this. Hey look kids, it's Phil Coulson! Mr. Parrish, this is the police! I think he's got a grudge. But Sai's not there. He's busy following Will and his mistress to a hotel. The cops visit the Yorkins. So are you gonna arrest him for littering by throwing his dick around? Oh. Got room for one more? I shaved my arms and everything. Get on the bed. I tell you to do things, then you fucking do them, exactly like I tell you. Yes, Mr. Kubrick. When did we start working for Miramax? Smile. You have to look like having Smile! Put a sting in your mouth. Now there's a Kodak moment. Do it for the vine. This is all pretend. You get the idea this is part of a conversation replaying in his head? Where is this coming from? Today I made art. Shit himself. The cops are here. Sai runs, but he doesn't get far. Thanks, Batman. I just took pictures. You have the right to Will is brought home, safe, at least till his wife gets a hold of him. The cop is like, good luck, buddy. For Christ's sake, arrest me. And we're back to this. You're a good man. You're not the type of father who'd cheat on his wife. You would never ask your children to do things. Things that children shouldn't do. Wow, where did that come from? Sai reveals a childhood of sexual abuse within his own imperfect family. He built a new family vicariously through the Yorkins. Will Yorkin cheating on his wife was, in Sai's mind, an attack, a betrayal. But we see the pictures he took. Now there's some debate here. Was he only bluffing, just to humiliate and punish Will? Or is he that bad a photographer? But the Yorkins forgive Sai since his actions brought the family together and they welcome him into their family as Uncle Sai. At least that's what I like to imagine happened. More likely he's got a room at Arkham. And that was one hour photo. Sai starts out our hero, a downtrodden, lonely, and awkward everyman who's just going through something. When his fantasy world is shattered, he shifts into a villain. You don't really understand what he's trying to do until the very end where his confession slash revelation explains a lot, even though it kind of comes out of left field. A deus ex molestada. It is such a gut punch. Sai says it himself, photos tend to capture us at our best when things are good. Most people don't whip out the camera when things are bad, at least before Reddit. Photos, while capturing a moment in time, out of context can be considered a little lie because it doesn't tell the whole story. Listen to what he says to the adulterers. Pretend! This is all pretend! You can see where his mind is going, therefore everything must be fake. It's all pretend. We revealed there's a lot more wrong with Psy than we were shown. You can understand a character without condoning their actions, and Sai is a recovering abuse victim, with that abuse burned into him. When he loses it, it's a cycle he can't recover. On the bright side, he would hopefully be getting the help he needs. It's such a cold, eerie, almost emotionless direction, which builds an intensity as Sai spirals. There's a sense of dread building as you see Sai getting closer and closer to the edge. The shots are desaturated, overly clean, everything looks very much staged, like something from a catalog. Sai's world is especially bleak, sterile, almost monochromatic. He often blends into his surroundings. The only source of color and connection in his world are the Yorkins. You share his loneliness. Seeing is a theme, how things look and how we perceive them. Sai's eyes in particular are a focal point, so to speak. The word snapshot was first used in 1808 by an English sportsman by the name of Sir Andrew Hawker meaning a hurried shot. Snapshot, then, was originally a hunting term. Weaponized photography. 
It's a stalker film, but it's far more subtle, and we see how one person would fixate on someone so obsessively. You, you, you get him. You understand him. At least I did. That might say something about me. With phones, digital cameras, and the like, it slightly dates the movie, future generations may wonder, but we're here for Mr. Williams. One hour photo is four and a half Bs. Robin Williams is electric. He's hypnotic, chilling without being a cartoony monster. The reveal at the end is abrupt, almost thrown in, but it does make him sympathetic once again. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment the bell, you know, the usual YouTube stuff. This is the newbie, and I'll see you later, kids. Toodles. Click. Seize the day. Kelly you roast much while ye may. Cause we are food for worms, lads. Cause believe it or not, each and every one of us in this room.